So in this uh, new chapter, um, we, we will look at the source code of uh, uh, the um, class and look at its class definitions, the fields, the constructor, uh, and the methods. Um, uh, the methods uh, have um, ways to call themselves and then there are uh, conditional um, statements that are um, more advanced and uh, the mm. oh yes so methods have statements and um, there are conditional statements but also statements that use uh, arith arithmetic uh, and something else arithmetic and uh, okay. uh, then um, we will look at um, uh, an automated ticket machine, a model of an automated ticket machine and uh, then at the internals of uh, the lab class that we have already seen in chapter 1 uh, the, um, the uh, ticket machine uh, differs um, a lot from uh, the uh, real life uh, uh, implementation and uh, we will see that it lacks um, a lot of functionalities and therefore we will try to um, make a more sophisticated uh, ticket machine uh, in order to uh, to have these functionalities and make the model look like more like the uh, real thing uh, and this um, can be done for example uh, for the price in, in the uh, ticket machine uh, basically it works um, like this the, the customer uh, is inserting money and when um, uh, certain uh, amount is reached the ticket is printed and the customer has to request the ticket to be printed and um, if uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the amount is right the ticket will be printed and uh, But uh, uh, there is uh, only um, one kind of ticket available, uh, but in uh, real life, ticket machines have different types from of tickets for different fares, and the customers has to choose the one that. Uh, uh, that suits him and um, this is not uh, present in the uh, in, in the ticket machine we will look at uh, however it will be very easy to uh, make this possible because um, Java is uh, object-oriented programming and uh, therefore um, uh, multiple instances can be made uh, with, uh, uh, its, uh, with their own um, price setting and, and so yeah, that's it 
Okay. 